guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a professional intro in Windows Movie Maker. So first off, you want to go to movie tools dot, oh, you want to go to movie tools dot um, com, movie tools dot com, and after you get to this website, it should look like this, if you got the right website, and from here you want to click file downloads. By the way, this is free. Everything you see in this video will be free. Um, so there's a whole bunch of different styles of backgrounds. You want to click the one. I personally like Energy Loose, but you can choose any one. Um, so there's a whole bunch. You can pick the best one you like. And you just want to click download. And I'm not going to download it because I already have a whole bunch of these. So you want to download that. And after you're done with that, now you want to go back into your internet browser. You want to type into the address bar simply the best dot net. After you type this in, it should bring you up to a website that looks like this. From here, you want to click fonts. And after this, um, there's a whole bunch of fonts around here. 3D stuff and TV show fonts. There's a whole bunch, those are my two favorites. I'm gonna click TV show fonts now, just as an example. You wanna click any one you like. I'm just gonna use the first one just for an example. There is a download for PC right there, and there's a download for MacBook. I have a personal computer, so I'm gonna click the top one. If you guys have a Mac, click the bottom one. If you guys have a PC, click the top one, pretty simple. After you download that, um, you wanna go to my computer, uh, um, your hard drive, Windows, and then click Fonts. Windows should bring you up to a file like this, and you want to click Fonts from here, which I already did, and it's just loading up. There's a there. So this is all the fonts you have to make your intro. There's a lot of fonts in here. Now you're gonna need WinRAR. The text you downloaded from Simply the Best. If you had WinRAR, it should have came up with WinRAR kind of book thing, whatever you want to call it, but you're going to need WinRAR, and you want to extract this by just um, getting that and, uh, you know, just dragging it onto your desktop. So drag the one that says the name of your file and, like, the picture, and it should come up to that with a little T. And you want to make the file fonts file smaller and just drag the one you extracted over to it. And you're done with that, so now you have your text. And you're done with your internet browser, you can exit out of it. Now all you need to do is open Windows Movie Maker, import video, and now all now what you want to do is choose the background you downloaded. It should be in your download like find the place you saved it under and um you can get the file you actually downloaded, put it onto this. And yeah, the, yours should load really fast. It's just my computer sucks. And plus, I have, um, what is it, Hypercam on it. So it's going really slow right now. For some reason, I have no idea. My other videos won't be like this. You can rely on that. It's just this be one time of my life where it's going so slow and I can't do anything. But yours will go really fast. So let's just wait for this to open. Okay, so here I got the background, and these are all moving. Um, you just want to drag that into your timeline or your storyboard, whichever you have open. Um, all the links will be in the description, just making that announcement right now. All the links will be in the description, every link. Um, you want to cl click um, add titles or credits, and you just want to click that little video thing and click make a title on the selected clip click that and it should come up to a thing like this and you can write you can write the name of your channel or whatever you're making an intro of so I'm just gonna write the name of the channel I'm making this intro this video for um, so it's AM Electronics, and I'm writing it down. So you write the 
thing you actually want the intro to say and it will say it. Next you press um, text, color, and font. You want to find the font that you put into the fonts folder. So after you find it, I'm just going to use a random one, but I'm not going to click the one I actually put in. I'm using Comic Sans, but I didn't even put that in, it's just already there. I'm just going to use a random one. And you can get the color you like. There's a lot of colors. You can even make your own color to find the right color you want, like what I'm doing here. Yours will be a lot better than mine, okay? My, this is just, just, uh, just showing you how to do this that yours will be a lot better than mine. I'm just showing you guys. You want, um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I always like my intros big, like the font, so you, you probably want to make it big. Next, the transparency. You probably know what that is. If you don't know what it is, it's when you can see the background through your layers. So, you don't want to put that a lot, because if you put it 100%, you can't even see your layers, it's like invisible. Um, I'd say from 2 to 8 is probably the best. I I think I'm going to go with... Because you kind of want to see it. It, it. It'll look more professional, but... You're going to need just the right amount so it looks good. Um, So I'm probably going to make mine 2 right now. Or 2, 4, yeah, 2. Next, I uh, want to click Title Animation. You can choose any one you like, there's really cool ones. If you saw my intro in the beginning, it's like paint drip, it's really cool. I'm just gonna pick a random one just as an example to show you guys what it looks like. After you do this, um, you're gonna press, yeah, you, you can press then add title to movie, but I just messed something up. I have to make my font smaller because it looks really bad. Make sure it's only on one line. If it's two, on two lines, it looks bad and I like my intro bold, bold, it kind of looks better, but it's up to you, whatever you want. You can underline it, but I don't choose to. Now click done, add title to movie. Um, now you just want to drag the title a little so it's just as long as your clip. And this is my intro right there, just a sample, this isn't my real intro. Yours will be a lot better than mine. So here's my, that, just the one I made like right now paused it just because I have to show you guys the rest. After you do that, it looks kind of plain, so you need some music. Click um, import audio or music. Now you're going to need LimeWire. The link for LimeWire will be in the description. Like I said before, all links are in the description. You can download LimeWire and then you can just get music for free. So you're, you basically should get LimeWire because there's you can just download any song you want. Um, so here I'm trying to get a, some nice music, but I really can't find any. <sighs> There's a lot of songs on here. Um, but yeah, you you want, um, so I chose a song. Just click it, press import. If you have iTunes, it'll work. But if you don't, if you don't have anything that downloads like music onto your iPod, if you don't have an iPod, you don't have anything that downloads music, you want to actually get LimeWire. It'll be in the description. So it'll go into your collectors. You just want to drag the song into your timeline where it says audio and music. Now, if you don't like the beginning of your song, you can actually kind of cut it so it looks, so you only have a little bit. So see how I'm kind of pushing it in? <laughs> That's what she said. So it'll kind of cut some off. <laughs> um, cut like the beginning of your song off or all you want is the ending. But yeah, you what you want to do now, I just want the middle of the song because I hate the beginning and the end. So if you want that, or if you just want the song from the beginning, just don't do anything. But you're gonna have to do this. You're gonna grab the end of the song and drag it all the way back to the end of your video. And that's it, basically. And all you have to do now is, I don't know, you're basically done now. All you're gonna have to do is just make it widescreen so it looks professional and there's no black bars. Um, yeah, you wanna save it to your computer. Uh, press save to my computer. Um, change the name of it and change the place you wanna save to. 
Remember, this is, in, this is important. If you don't do this, you can't put it on YouTube. You have to save it to your computer. So uh, you can do that, but just an important note. Press Tools, um, Options. Now press, um, now this should pop up. Now press, um, you should see NTCS and PAL. You want to click NTCS, but it'll come up as NTCS and 4, 3. You want to keep NTCS, but put it on P, I mean, um, 16, um, 03. You want to put it, that's what makes it widescreen, so you just click that and you're basically done. And yeah, there you go, you have your intro, and yeah. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe and follow us on Twitter. See ya, I'm out. Peace.